you saw that thing last time from the other side. They just ride around in the loop? Yeah, it just goes back and forth. It might come back here in a minute. I turned the video back on. Um, yeah, but during COVID, they had a special project and they were developing uh, like a negative air pressure system for schools. And they're doing, they're installing those, I guess, in a lot of schools in the Indiana area. When I worked at Ohio State University Medical Center, we, when we went into the research areas, they had a lot of those kind of systems. Like when you went in and you opened the door, it like pulled the door shut behind you. Because of uh, all the ventilation hoods, they would like work on these like pretty serious pathogens under the hoods but the way it was set up was that you know of course you wore your protection so you wouldn't you know inhale it but the way the ventilation was set up it would be always pulling it away from you the engineering is pretty interesting Negative pressure? Yeah, okay. we're at least having some sort of air exchange going on. Well, if you, yeah, if you pressurize the house with positive pressure on the inside, it should always be pushing air out. Yeah. I've seen a lot of videos on that lately, actually, because uh, I guess supposedly the Spanish, uh, Spanish flu um, influenced modern design after after that, right? Okay. So like a lot of older, um, dirtier sort of, I don't know, technologies went away. Okay. Like uh, for instance, bathrooms used to be mostly lined in wood, including the toilet. Yeah. Um, and you know, nobody thought twice about it until there was a big pandemic. And then, you know, all of a sudden they started lining things in tile. Um, but there's a bunch of different examples of that. Another one that I read recently is, you know, modern, uh, or not modern, but you know how in the cities there's all those radiator systems? Supposedly, they literally designed those systems to be able to heat a house with the windows open in the winter. That's why they're, like, overpowering. Uh, and the whole idea was that so you could ventilate your house in the winter. They weren't thinking about efficiency. They were thinking about literally people being able to open the windows in February because infectious disease spreads more in the wintertime because people are all cooped up in their houses, right? Yeah, except for the fact that it's like they're, it's either boiling hot or... Oh, really? Say what? It's duplicative. You don't have air conditioning. Oh, because you don't have a ventilation system. Yeah. So you got to run like window air conditioners. Or put ducts in. Yeah, I had radiators uh, at uh, the apartment that I lived in over on, like by Schroyer. And yeah, we had the windows open in the winter sometimes. I had a big boiler in the basement. Oh, so it was a modern system. Yeah. It's actually the outside thermostat now. So I, um, I replaced it. But, like, when it was out, it was really uncomfortable. Like, uncomfortably hot? Yeah. Yeah. You can look in the manual, and there's a graph, like, 40 degrees around here. Right. Well, I read on the old systems, they did things like painted them with this like bronze paint to actually knock the heat down. And then they also had like uh, radiator blankets to like to dampen the heat. Because obviously the part of it is just get, because the, the difference in temperature causes air to flow over the, you know. It was super excessive. Thank you. 